Welcome back, people. I've been neglecting the bike for a while. It's about time for an oil change, but I've been putting it off because I have a couple other things to do. I got some mid controls. Those are forwards. Some nice crusty ones because I want to try them out and see what they're like. And I'm also going to build myself a little custom jack. Custom. It's going to be made of wood. I'll link the video if I can to the where I found that, the guy who did that. Get that built, see if it'll work for the Sportster because I think he did it with the Honda Shadow. Oh, and if I get it lifted, we're going to put up or put in the other kickstand since I lifted my bike and it's still got the extra lean there. So let's get to work. Now we're gonna do uh, primary next. I'm gonna give it a time. I probably didn't warm it up enough, but I'm gonna start taking off the front controls. This probably needs to come out. I I think I'm gonna leave the plate in there because I did get some highway pegs. Yeah, we'll see how that works. That's not, that's not how you do it. You need to take the peg off first and then there's a bolt in there that I see. Yeah. sucks so it looks like the front controls are staying on for now uh, unless i have a bigger allen key inside which i don't know let's get back to the oil and apparently it seems everybody was out of ams oil which is my preference harley started stocking this instead spectro platinum but uh we're gonna try this one out hopefully there's some more ams oil by the time i need to do the next one Got the old oil to the perfect level on the first try. Should have built that thing first because this is why I wanted it. This is for the transmission oil because it needs to be level. I'd like something to do it while I'm alone. So we're gonna go build that little jack. And that should do it. Just flip it up under the bunk. Hope it works. It's got me really nervous now. Slide it under there and hope we don't die. <sighs> this has me super sketched out. I hope it works. I did it. That was super sketchy, but it's still not perfectly level. I think I'll have problems if I want to do it on the back because we've got this little nub here for the kickstand. It tilts left fairly easy. Right? Uh, I'm pushing right pretty hard. It doesn't go anywhere. I'm not super keen about that. I believe it's because we're higher on this side because the exhaust. And I really hope I'm not damaging that exhaust. Probably not a good long-term solution. Maybe a one-time thing so I can actually buy one of those little platform lifts or something. Homemade, sketchy, who knew? I guess let's start doing the primary oil and hope it doesn't fall on me. Other way. Oh, you bitch. Ah, got it though. Not too many shavings on the plug there. Something I forgot last time. I almost forgot this time to put some thread tape on there. I actually bought some this time. I have no idea how much is too much. Just let me know if you know. Oil change is done. Now I can finally ride, yay. Now, I'm gonna try and put the bike back down. This will be fun and sketchy again.
I did it. I don't like that at all. I don't know if I'll be using that again. All right, until we do the mids. So we're back, it's a new day. I did a little more research, picked up some cotter pins and whatnot, a couple other things. So we're gonna do the mids today, hopefully. I've seen a lot of people taking off the exhaust to do the mid controls to like take off the sprocket cover and stuff. I think I can get this off without taking off my exhaust. I haven't been able to find a lot of videos or anything on this. Don't know if this is gonna be a good one for that either. I saw how they were taking it off and they seem to have a lot of trouble with this bolt here, which is where the peg goes. And since I'm switching from forward, it's just a bolt. The vid videos I've seen is just switching out the mid controls for different ones. So I have this, I'm able to break this bolt from this side instead of taking off this cover and trying to put it in a vise and break the bolt from the back. So I just broke out a bolt, oh my God, breaker bar and broke this bolt. So when I get the whole piece off, I will be able to just take the cotter pin off and unscrew the bolt. Seems like a better idea to me. So let's get started. All right, a couple change of plans. Looks like the exhaust is coming off because this bolt here is coming protruding from inside and I can't get the exhaust off that bolt unless I take it off. So the whole exhaust is coming off. And then these pegs are not coming out and this plate is actually part of the engine mount. So I'm gonna leave that plate in for now. I feel like I haven't even started working on the mids. It was ridiculous. Now you can see how terrible she looks. Now we're gonna get that cover off and uh, do the real work on it. Okay, so we got this piece off nice and clean, of course, beautiful. It looks like this one does not have a cotter pin. That's nice. Since I already broke the bolt, it's going to be a lot easier to take this nut off now. Yeah. So this is the new little assembly here. New but old. It looks like if you had controls there, you'll have a cotter pin. If you didn't have controls for mid, then you won't have the cotter pin. All right, not sure where my video cut out. Got the sprocket cover on. Haven't tightened it down yet, but it's on. This looks like a little low for the brake. I'm gonna see if maybe I can turn that threading to lift this up a little bit. Peg and brake mid controls completed on the right side. Nice level brake. So let's get that exhaust back on. Exhaust is all bolted up and that's it for this side. Now we're gonna get started on the shifter side. I'm gonna put the shifter on before I call it a day. So we're back in another day. A very nice day out. What a great day to show off these new mid pegs. It's new to me mid pegs, I should say. They're pretty comfortable. I didn't think I would like them as much as I do, but the different riding position would just, I feel planted instead of with my legs just stretched out hanging onto the front pegs. So I feel like I've got more support and I can actually take some weight off of my butt if I need to. As you can see, I've still got some uh, ghetto highway pegs. They're just forward controls without control. Riding real fancy. I think I wanna try getting some moto pegs, mainly for when I'm riding with my passenger, but I would rather have a little bit of grip in the pegs that I can push myself back with or, you know, control. 
Don't jump it, don't jump it, don't jump it. Had to turn off my Grand Theft Auto skills. Would have been pretty rad though. The last rad thing I ever did. Oh, it's so nice to have the bike ready for riding again. I still gotta go through and, you know, lock tights and bolts that uh, I didn't, because I don't take my own advice and lock tight everything. But I'm glad I got the oil changed and got these mid pegs on to test it out. It's oh, so nice to be out during the good weather again. But I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm just on my way to work, going to head in. But I had to try out and demonstrate my little mid pegs. They're very nice. I like them. I'm actually going to be going on a trip to Utah. It's not specifically a motorcycle trip, but we are going to be doing some fun stuff and I am going to be renting a bike out there. But yeah, go check out some of my other content. In the meantime, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see y'all in the next one. And until then, y'all ride safe now, you hear? <laughs>